Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me yesterday wanting to know how they could reproduce this uh, logo for a basically a photographer. This would be the uh, the aperture for a camera lens, kind of give it a photographic effect. This is pretty easy to reproduce. And as you know, I like drawing in the center of the page, and that's why I'd, this is a very good reason. So I've got an eclipse. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I've got a six-sided polygon. I've got it in the center of the page. And then I just drew a rectangle longer than I need. And I've got one of them already placed here. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. I'm going to move it up to about here. And you really want to kind of, and for the video, that's probably close enough, but I'll nudge it over just a little bit. I've got my nudge factor set real low. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to get my rotation. And I'm going to put it right here on this iris corner of this polygon. And I'm going to rotate it 60 degrees. I'm going to make another duplicate of it. I'm going to move it kind of like right there just that's why your your my rectangles long longer than it needs to be i'm going to double click on it i'm going to move my rotation now to that corner and i'm going to rotate it 120 degrees so i'm just increasing it by 20 degrees each time i made another duplicate i'm going to move it down and for the video i'm going to call that close enough you would want to well i'm i'll angle over just a little bit Double click on it, get your rotation and put it right there, and it'll come up with nodes. So now we need 180 degrees duplicate. And there might be a better way to do this, but for me, uh, this is the way I would do it. I need to get back off the screen a little bit. So we're just repeating that a number of times. Double click, I just happened to hit it right. This time we're going to go. 240 degrees we just need one more control D and make a duplicate of that and just move it down double click move our rotation now we need 300 degrees and we're basically done now this is why I like the color field tool the smart field tool we're gonna set our nudge factor on a little bit higher now we're gonna set it on let's say 15 inches I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and I'm just going to fill these in. Then I'm going to go back to my Pick tool and select them and just move them over. And I could have gone a little bit more. Let's go a little bit more. And I'm just hitting my right arrow key. Now, one thing I did not do, and you'll see it's not perfect because I, I had them extended over. So take your virtual segment delete key and delete these parts that are hanging over. And you could have, I could have done this without, but this is probably quicker. So now let's just delete these. Let's set our nudge factor this time on 30 inches so we don't have to move it twice. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Get our smart fill tool. Fill in, hit a right arrow key, fill in. So all I'm doing is filling in and hitting the right arrow key. There, whoop. There you have a aperture of a lens for a photographer. Hope it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.